What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Vegas Pro 16 tutorial. In this tutorial guys, I'm going to be showing you how to change the output resolution or the render resolution of video projects that you've made in Vegas Pro. This is a video that was suggested by one of you guys, so thanks for the suggestion and here is the video. Now on my timeline at the moment, I've got a video of my cat. If I play this quickly, you can see all I've done is just zoomed in, added some text, nothing too crazy. But basically we're going to imagine this video is your final project and I'm going to show you how to render this out at a different resolution. So this video itself was recorded in 1920 by 1080 so 1080p and it was recorded at 50 fps. So that's the standard resolution and frame rate I would export it as, I would render it as. But if you do want to change the resolution of the render settings, simply start by going into the render by clicking render as. And I'm sure you've seen this screen before where you have all the presets and different settings for the render resolution. To change the resolution on a video, you can simply click one of the options here. Now, I'd recommend using the Magix MP4 format. This is just my preferred format. It's the format I use. Of course, if you want to use a different format, that's perfectly up to you. But for video, MP4 works perfectly fine and it does everything you should need to do. Now, there is a few I've got starred down the side here, as you can see. So I'm just going to turn my filters on and show my favourites. This will just let me see the videos that I've starred. And as you can see I've got a few 1080p formats, some at 50fps, some at 60fps and some at 30fps. This is just because these are all the type of videos that I end up making. Let's say for some reason I did want to do a 4k video, I could either untick my favourites and first of all just look for a 4k setting. As we can see here there's lots of 4k settings at different frame rates. Or I could go into one of the other formats, for example this HD 1080p video, 60fps. I could click on it, I could click down here on customise template, and then here's all the settings for the video. Now to change the resolution, all you need to look at is frame size. If you click on this, you'll get a few different options for the frame size. You can see you've got 4K down the bottom here. You've got 1080p, you've even got some other ones like different aspect ratios, you've got widescreen, you've got square pixels, you've got different things, have a play around until you find what you want. But personally, instead of changing this format, I'm just gonna pick um I'm just gonna pick one of the already made templates. So I think I'm gonna go with the 4K 50 FPS. And if this is a template you might possibly want to use more in the future, just click the little star next to it, it'll put on your favourites. So when you have the favourites only filter option on, you'll be able to see it there. Now, bearing in mind I'm keeping it at 50 FPS because my video was recorded in 50 FPS. You can change the frame rate as well if you want to, but I would highly recommend sticking to the same frame rate, or at least if you're going to change the frame rate, either do it in halves or double the frame rate. Don't do a random frame rate number because then you'll get like frame clipping and your video will just come out looking really weird and that's not what you want at all. I'd recommend always matching the FPS and then just changing the resolution to how you want it if you do want to up it or down it. Up to you. So now I've got my 50 FPS 4K settings. I'm going to browse. I'm just going to choose where I want to save it. So for now, I'm just going to save it to my desktop and I'm going to call this 4K Cat because why the hell not? Save and then click render and it'll start rendering out the video. Now luckily I have got quite a short video here so it will happen quite quickly. If you've made a longer video project it will take longer. Also it depends on the size of the project as well. What I mean by that is if you are recording in 4K, or sorry, if you are rendering in 4K it'll take a lot longer to render out than if you were just rendering in 1080p because it's higher resolution. So after waiting a couple minutes here it's just finished exporting. I'm going to now click close on this. When I go to my desktop here, we can see that we have got the 4K cat video. If I right click on the video and click properties, and then go over to details at the top here, you can see the frame size is 3840 by 2160, which is 4K. So that's just a good way to check if the render has actually worked. And as we can see, the video is okay. Now remember, this isn't actually going to make the original video 4K. The original video is still 1080p. 
it's just being displayed on a 4K format. The only way to get the original footage in actual legitimate 4K is if you were to record the footage in 4K. It's just now the file size is technically bigger and you've got more pixels to work with. But that is going to be it for this tutorial guys, so remember if you want to see more Vegas Pro tutorials then just click that subscribe button and help me out, it helps a lot, I appreciate it, thank you very much. And also if you do want to suggest any tutorials on the channel then just tell me in the comment section down below. But that is going to be it for this video guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, bye!